What's going on you all? Today we're teaching you how to connect a USB microphone to your Xbox. Now this is a very popular video as we made a YouTube Shorts video on this and we also made tons of TikTok videos on this and therefore it just we want to get that USB microphone into the Xbox accordingly to be able to use it for gaming and streaming. Now this is way different versus just a PS4 version of this. On PS4 you're able to just plug in a USB microphone directly into the PlayStation just like that via USB. Now at Xbox there's a whole go around and therefore we're going to teach you the steps, what items you need, and more. So I'm just excited to talk about it just right before. I just want to just, just give y'all some good stuff. If y'all are interested in content like this, tech reviews, VR, streaming, gaming, insights, updates, and more, go ahead and consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to your boy because we just want to thank y'all for over 225,000 followers on TikTok as we're trying to get people to migrate over here. It'll really mean the world if you can just join this community and help us get active over here because it's very active over there. And if you are from TikTok already, what's up? I appreciate you, fam. Well, thanks for supporting the content. So let's go ahead and get right into it. <laughs> So just having a USB microphone on an Xbox is a major flex. I did this before uh, when I first started streaming directly from my Xbox on Twitch and therefore I was able to test the audio on Twitch and see the output of the audio on USB microphones. So it's always cool to just have it. It's a great aesthetic and it actually provides more of an appeal as a real, real gaming setup and a streaming setup. And so having a USB microphone on an Xbox, although it's not traditionally seen as, uh, I guess, uh, a right way to be able to have a setup, it's still a fun thing to use and it's a fun level luxury especially if you can find a usb microphone that you can afford now for this example we're going to be using the rode nt usb now now if you have something similar i'm going to go over the features right now so if you have something similar to this and the features that i'm announcing then you're able to utilize that microphone so let's go over the, the specs of the microphone they're going to go over what items you do need and just follow along this video be sure to just you know what i'm saying stay with your boy stay with your boy and ask questions in the comments below and i will leave everything uh, all the things in the description in the description box below so um, right now the USB microphone, so you obviously want to connect your USB mic into the USB port of your Xbox, hands down. That's definitely the first thing you need to do. Um, the, so specs of a USB microphone that you must have in order for it to work with an Xbox, you need to have volume control so you can control the output manually. Now Xbox makes you do all this manually, PS4 lets you do it in-house through their settings. Um, so you need to have a volume knob so the road into usb offers that also you need to have a headphone jack the reason why you need a headphone jack is because you need to connect an additional auxiliary cord which we're going to go over all the next steps you need but you need a headphone jack so two things you already need for sure for a usb microphone in order to even work with your xbox it needs to have volume output and it actually has to have a headphone jack now that volume is to just control just how you sound and how you're sounding to others and just just we need that you need full manual control of that regardless uh, don't let anybody else tell you elsewise now this does work with blue yetis and stuff also but just any usb microphone that has these two so volume output so now let's go over all the items that you do need right so i have all the items right here with me so on top of actually having a usb microphone there's already another thing you need to have in order for it to work you're going to need a stereo adapter this right here is the turtle beach stereo adapter but i would highly recommend getting the xbox official stereo adapter just because it's a little bit more universal than the turtle beach i noticed the turtle beach stereo adapter works more with prestige microphones like a rode but if you have someone of a lower end microphone like this microphone this is a fee fine then the xbox stereo adapter works better with this microphone without any problems now so you need that so two things so far usb microphone volume and headphone jack then you're going to need an xbox stereo adapter Next, what you're going to need is that you're going to need a specialized headphone splitter. So the headphone splitter is going to have to have labeled a actual headphone and a microphone on that headphone splitter. Like what I said, I'm going to be labeling this all down in the com in the description box below. These two, you see how it splits ends, and then you just see the auxiliary right here, how it splits into two. Now this, uh, let's see if I can get it close up with the headphone. I don't know if I can get it. Um, uh, I'll probably have another one. So that right there has a headphone. And then this right here is going to be a microphone. So you can see like little icons on it. Uh, these two right here really do help. And um, so yes, so that's what it splits up. So that's that microphone, stereo adapter, headphone splitter. 
Next, you're going to need um, an additional auxiliary cord. So I did say that earlier. So you need an additional auxiliary cord. And this right here is just a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cord. This is all you need because you're going to need that to eventually go into the microphone and separate the outputs. Then last but not least, we're going to look into our last item, which is going to be... I'm trying to get it all over here. My bad. Um, so right here, you're going to need to get your own headphones now these are the one audio headphones i'll leave them in the description box below these work amazing by the way these are like dj headphones master headphones and i love these i still use these to this day to stream one audio is actually very incredible to me so i just love them so much for always helping us out with gear and doing more fifon has done amazing for us sending us gear and one audio so if y'all have questions on that too let me know cheap plug um so here um headphones you need to have personalized headphones obviously um, but do not have a microphone. So these are not gaming headsets. So have headphones and not gaming headsets. The reason why gaming headsets is going to confuse the audio output of the microphone and the gaming headsets. So instead just have headphones like this and have a microphone. That is it. So those are all, those are all the things you do need. Did my door just close? Yo, that's scary. Um, <laughs> wow. Uh, so what you do need, like what I said, let's run it down real quick, real simple. USB microphone stereo adapter a headphone splitter on 3.5 millimeter cord and then you're also going to need your own set of headphones that don't have a mic now let's go ahead and set it up and then we'll get right to it all right so let's go ahead and get started into this setup you can see the controller adapter is going to go right under as you can see displayed here so let's plug it right on in right there make sure it's a snug fit real tight so you don't have any issues down the line and you can see right under there that there's going to need to be something plugged in. And so we're going to pick up that headphone splitter. And on the primary end, you're going to plug in the splitter first right into the controller's adapter. So now it's controller to your stereo adapter into the headphone splitter. Now we got it splitting into both the microphone and the headphones. So as we're looking for your next item, we're going to go ahead and go with the, the 3.5 additional auxiliary cord on each end right here you can see each end it has just a, a basic aux and now we're going to plug it into the microphone slot of the splitter make sure you're careful with this make sure the logos are correct plug it into that and now you still got your headphone split and we're going to do the headphones in a little bit so let's continue now when you plug it into the microphone split you want to plug that into the microphone's headphone jack that's why i told y'all it's important to have a headphone jack and ensure that that microphone is plugged in of course via usb now double check all of that's right now you want to throw on your headphones remember do not have a gaming headset have regular headphones on put on your headphones and now you got one more split left, the icon and the logo that shows the headphones. Now you're going to plug your end of the headphone into there. So now you have a microphone split and a headphone split. So Xbox can manually read that and the stereo adapter does that for you. Now, if you have a microphone with a monitoring aspect, you will get that monitoring feedback. So you should be able to already hear yourself and your microphone picking up noises in the background. So check, check, check. You can see me talking. I'm going to do it a uh, split screen. Um, I actually can hear myself on this microphone. So the road into USB does do monitoring. I know I said it doesn't do monitoring, but I actually have a monitor on here. Um, yeah, so I'm right here. I'm, I'm talking right now. I'm talking right through the mic and you can see it highlighting right here on the Xbox. And actually I can hear it on my headphones. So uh, the splitter does do that. And uh, some microphones will let that monitoring aspect where you can hear yourself and some won't, but that's uh, a full setup. I'm using the microphone right now. So yeah, check, check 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 yep so everything's good and um that's just the way it goes so that's how you do it so there you go that was the full-on connection and test for the xbox and a usb microphone to be compatible with each other like what i said if you're going to be using a bargain microphone just ensure it still has a volume and a volume control setting and also a headphone jack and also make sure you use the official xbox stereo adapter to be able to utilize with everything but if you only could find the turtle beach ones then find the use the turtle beach stereo adapter then utilize that with a more of a prestige microphone like a Rode into USB or just a Blue Yeti or something. So those are all the options. Remember, this is fun to use for streaming. I used it for streaming. And also another tip, if you want to test the audio with uh, the Xbox and the USB microphone, I suggest uh, just doing your own private stream or just hitting the stream button real quick on Twitch. That's usually the easiest way to double check. Just ensure that you utilize something that where you can actually hear. So record some clips on Twitch, keep them private so you can keep it to yourself so you can just hear how you sound so you know that everything's functioning properly and i'm more i'm more
more than sure that it does work. I've done this multiple times. And so if y'all have questions, leave them in the comment section below. If y'all have streaming questions, tip questions, audio questions, tech reviews, VR and more, just hit us up. We usually have daily content. We would love to have you all. So I appreciate you all so much. Watch this video, share it, let people know this is how we do it real quick. I appreciate y'all. Peace.